Uh, so just to kind of run through the uh, shaped character sheet, make a character, maybe help uh, shed some light on how to use these sheets. Uh, so let's make a character. We're going to create a character, and that character's name is Bacuse Slubud. Because why not? Uh, Bacuse Slubud is going to be a draconic dwarf. Uh, I've already picked out like the parentage and upbringing and all of that, just to kind of streamline things a little bit. Um, so, uh, we've got Bacuse Slubud. And we are going to click Add for Class. It's Custom Class. Uh, BQ Slubud is a dude. He will be level four. Uh, and a dude is a half caster, so we'll go with fifth level casting. All right. Uh, so starting with the upbringing, I mean the parentage, starting with parentage, uh, so he's a draconic dwarf, uh, so starting with the draconic parentage, uh, we took the damage resistance, and his draconic parentage is going to be silver dragon, which is going to give him resistance to cold damage. So we're just going to throw cold up here. All right. Uh, he also gets dark vision through his draconic parent. Uh, let's see. And that was all the points we could use for draconic. And then we've got eight points to spend for the dwarven parent. So we're going to go with long, li uh, yeah, long lived, which costs nothing. Uh, let's see, we're also going to take the strong trait, then we're going to take the stocky trait, and then we are going to do Dwarven Resilience. Uh, so with that, uh, if we go down here to our resistances, we are now, because of our parentage, resistant to both cold and poison damage. Yay. Strong gave us an ability score increase, so let's go ahead and throw that up here under the modifiers. We're going to go strong. Hit the setting. Ability score. Strength is going to be a 1. Uh, let's see. So then upbringing, we're going to put under traits. Draconia, a draconian upbringing. And with that draconian upbringing, we're going to get an ability score increase. We are immune to the frightful presence of dragons, and we speak Draconian and one other language of our choice. With the ability score increase, we're going to get a plus two to our strength and then a plus one to charisma, so we're going to go up here and do the ability score increase from Draconian. Uh, bringing. And that's going to give us, we're going to click on ability score, we're going to put two for strength, and one for charisma. Awesome. Uh, let's see, and then immune to the frightful presence, so condition immunities, we're just going to put frightful presence. And that is it for that. Uh, that takes care of our upbringing. Uh, so then our background. Uh, we are going to say that our background is a mine hunter. So his profession has been, uh, he's part of like a, a mercenary group uh, who are contracted to go through mines or potential mines, um, hunt down any monsters or uh, underland beings that might be taking up residence in those mines so that the uh, dwarves can go down and and do their thing um so as a mine hunter uh let's see he's gonna get two tool proficiencies uh one for masonry tools and let's go with i don't know brewer supplies because he's a, a dwarf so why not they like to drink 
Uh, let's see, languages. Uh, so we did learn we got uh, common just because everybody knows common. We've got draconian from our upbringing and we'll throw a dwarven in there since we get plus one. That takes care of the upbringing. Uh, so the background, we got the two tool proficiencies. Uh, so we do get two skill proficiencies. So as a mine hunter, I think we should get survival. I think that makes sense. And uh, let's go with intimidation. All right, their whole job is to scare things out of the mines. So that makes sense to me. Um, all right, so we've got our two skill proficiencies, our two tool proficiencies. And then we pick a background feature. So for this guy, uh, for uh, Bikyu Slubud, um, we're going to go with the background feature of All Eyes on You. Uh, because, I mean, he's half dwarf, half dragon. <laughs> I feel like that, uh, that brings on a lot of stairs. So that's our background feature. Um, so after we do the background feature... All right, so we've got our parentage, we've got our upbringing, and we've got our background. Um, so now let's figure out our ability scores, which I already rolled here. Uh, so we're going to go with the stat group three. So we're going to place them in the order that they appear. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this, like this is actually a character I'm going to play. We'll just go with stat group three. Um, all right, so 14, 9, 11, 9... 13 and 15 we re-rolled one of the nines and got a 17 so we're going to put that over here by dex so our dex is now 17 all right and then i'm going to swap the dex and charisma scores um you'll notice that the scores are updating that's because of these two modifiers that we did if we uncheck the pencil you'll see the scores have updated to reflect the increases from the two modifiers okay so these are our new scores uh i have a zero in constitution so my hit die is a d6 so that means for level one i have six hit points and then two through four so two three four so that's going to be 3d6. Uh, so we are going to do this. We're going to roll three hit die. Wow. <laughs> this guy is weak. All right, so six plus... So at level four, he has 12 hit points. Oof. All right. And a speed of 25. This guy doesn't hunt anything. I don't... This... This guy shouldn't be allowed to leave his house. As a dude, we're going to give him two skills for athletics, and let's go with persuasion. He will have saving throws. Uh, let's go with constitution and charisma. And then uh, his spellcasting ability is going to be charisma. And it's pretty much everything. So personality traits... He's a dwarf and a dragon. A dwargan. Ideals. I like my women like I like my beer. Stout and bitter. Bonds. Uh, let's see. James. His flaw is uh, he... I can't. I am incapable of not participating in brawls, which is really odd considering how low his hit points are. <laughs> uh, he gets knocked out a lot. Uh, let's see, class features. Uh, I don't have anything made up, so we're just going to go with feature one, and feature two, and feature three. Why not? Uh, feats. Uh, we've got left and right. Uh, starting gold, he, or starting silver, he's got 255. So we'll go 255 there. So with that, uh, when we go to equipment, uh, so you can add equipment stuff here. 
Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, uh, evasion class. So for now, we have to use the armor. Uh, he wears heavy armor because he gets hit a lot. Uh, heavy armor, he has a base of 10. Uh, and then if we go over here to utility and say armor reduction uh, with heavy armor, it is max proficiency die value, proficiency die. Oh, I did not set that. So we use proficiency die instead of the flat static proficiency. We're also going to do multiple. Uh, crit damage is maximized always. We'll break ties with uh, initiative. I don't ever use Electrum. It is a useless and stupid currency. We're using spell points. We got that already. Passive skills, yes. I think that's everything. Um, yes. All right. So if we go back to the character, so we're going to go to armor reduction. Proficiency die value is a four. We, because he's wearing heavy armor, the max proficiency die value is the armor reduction. So max proficiency die value is four. And then it should, yes, see, armor reduction, four. Nice. That helps. Uh, he's not that hard to hit, but he negates some damage, and that's what matters. I'm pretty sure that's everything. This is the character sheet all filled out, I do believe. I also like that under the modifiers, you have one block that modifies everything. So like if I wanted to do a skill modifier, I'd just come over here to ability check and then pick the skill that I want to modify. Ability scores we did there, or like maybe it's a a global attack modifier so like if i'm using great weapon master and i get a minus five to my attack rolls i can just come over here to the uh, melee weapon hit minus five and boom every time i roll an attack with a melee weapon it'll say minus five and then that way you know i just check it or uncheck it when using that weapon uh i do like having the conditions here um, I especially like that you can hover over them and it tells you exactly what that condition does. And then you can check it to kind of keep track of what conditions you have on your sheet. That is nice as well. And then it shows you how many points are used per uh, for that level of spell. So like level two is three, four is six, three is five, so on and so forth. That's nice. Uh, and then we've got the spell page, which is just a more in-depth look at spells, pretty much everything that's right here, just larger. I think that's pretty much it. All right, have a good night.